Challenge Rift 20, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I just want to let you all know that behind the scenes, I'm also working on a brand new Necromancer video. It'll be a guide, a build guide to the Inaria set. I'm actually really impressed with the Inaria set, so please stay tuned to the channel. That video will be coming up in the next day or so, possibly in the next coming hours once you actually watch this. I'm working on it right now. For all the latest notifications, make sure you subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. Thanks for watching anyway. Let's get stuck into Challenge Rift 20. It's a Helltooth Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor is my second favorite class to play in the game. Obviously, the Demon Hunter is my main class. The Witch Doctor is my second primary, so I'm very familiar with this. We're just going to go in there, smash this. I'm ultra confident it's going to be easy for me. You know, those of you that are having trouble, just watch me do it. I'll go through a few things, and then you're on your own, and you let me know how you go. Okay, as always, we can click on the Solomon to check what we're dealing with. We've got the six pieces of Helltooth set. He's got the Witching Hour belt here for some extra damage, which is which is pretty good. Now, the, the thing that I noticed is the gems. He's using Bane of the Powerful and Bane of the Stricken only. I would be using Bane of the Trapped in there and 100% definitely putting in Enforcer into this other ring because Enforcer increases your pet damage and your pets, your Gargantuans in this case, we've got three of them because Short Man's Finger gives us three Gargantuans with increased damage. They do all the damage. They're the primary damage dealer. This guy obviously has no idea what he's doing, either that, maybe he's just experimenting as a new player, or maybe he just hasn't received that gem, which I think is unlocked, I think it's just sitting in his inventory, and he just hasn't bothered to use it, but nonetheless, this is what we're dealing with, it's not the ideal Helltooth build, far from it in fact, but we're gonna do it. This is the challenge, nonetheless. Can Ice Cube powers, you cape in Serpent, Jeram's Braces, Ring of Royal Grandeur. The skills we're using, Wall of Death, Piranhas, Spirit Walk, Soul Harvest, Gargantuan, which does all of our da well, most of our damage, and Summon Zombie Dogs, which they're basically doing a bit of damage, but mostly healing us. The passives, Midnight Feast, yum, 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 yum. Confidence Ritual, Grave Injustice, Spirit Vessel. So, for those of you that haven't played a Helltooth Witch Doctor, what we want to do with the Helltooth build, as soon as you start the rift, you want to summon your Gargantuan and your Zombie Dogs immediately. Once you get to a pack, you can use Spirit Walk if you're taking a lot of damage, but definitely use Soul Harvest so we can build up our armor and we get a lot more survivability. We have to get our stacks up with Soul Harvest ASAP. That is priority. And because we're going to start off with no stacks, we're very susceptible to damage. We're ultra fragile. So that's why you can hit Spirit Walk. You're immune to damage for a little while and you can just find a big pack, hit Soul Harvest, and then all of a sudden, bang, you've got all that survivability. With elites and big packs, big dense packs, you definitely want to use Piranhas. Piranhas just gathers everything into the one area and stuns it in place. And then Wall of Death is handy for increasing damage and also reducing damage taken. It's basically just summoning a wall, literally a wall of icy death. You'll see it on the ground there and that just adds to our survivability and also increases damage that our pets dish out. It's as simple as that. Watch me do it. If you're not sure, you're going to get the hang of it really quickly, I guarantee you. For me, this is ultra easy. If you haven't played a witch doctor, hang in there, strap yourself in love and any questions, hit me up in the comments as usual. Let's go in. Okay, we're in. We summon. We use Spirit Walk. I was probably a bit premature there. But we've got a few stacks there. And now it's just like a Star Wars lightning show. There's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> so for those of you that are struggling to keep up, those little those little round rings that I'm casting, they're your walls of death. That's what you want your enemies to stay in. It reduces the damage that they dish out. It increases damage that our pets do to them. We want to look for elites here. We want to keep on moving because elites are pretty close together on this in this map. There's a pylon right here. We want to pick that up. Boom! So I think overall this is a very easy challenge rift. But I think the time is a bit challenging as well. I only had a couple quick run throughs and now I'm just gonna just gonna go complete it. I didn't complete it, I just sort of had to run around to have a look at what was you know going around in the map before. And it looks like there's a fair few elites hanging around. Mm -hmm. 
And for the most part, we ignore these, you know, smaller packs. You want to focus on the dense packs and definitely the elites. Okay, so far so good. Get the orb. And a lot of the times I like using Spirit Walk just... Oh, there, there's another Elite Pack. I like using Spirit Walk just for a speed increase. I hate walking around so slowly. I didn't have a look at um, how much speed increase this player has, but it feels like he's walking very slowly. For some reason, Blizzard chooses like the most random builds. I'm yet to see like a really sort of professional kind of feel to a to a build that Blizzard chooses for a challenge rift. They're all kind of newbie. There's a pylon just here. We want to turn around to a 360. There's Wall of Death. Piranhas whenever we have like a dense pack. And definitely when there's elites around. You pretty much be using it whenever it's up. Piranhas and Wall of Death. Oi. And then Spirit Walk, obviously, when you're stuck in sort of uh, sticky situations, but I use it just for a speed increase. Like I mentioned. So, if you can, what you want to do is when you cast Wall of Death, cast Piranhas inside Wall of Death as well. Just keep everything nice and compact in there. That way you dish out the most damage. If you can. It just depends on the pack and and how the enemies behave, I suppose. At the end of the day, as long as they're dying rather quickly, you're right. You're doing well. But the thing is, you can't do much because your gargantuans are your primary damage dealers. So you've got to make sure that with your line of sight, because they can just be attacking all these enemies for no reason, you want to kind of just move sort of away from the elite pack so they come towards the elites. You want to try and make sure that you're focusing damage on the actual elites and not these other idiot enemies that you don't really need to kill. You want to kill the elites. I don't think I've actually been past this part. I don't think we should be... Going this way, let's hightail it back. I think when I did my quick run through just before, I didn't, um, I didn't go past this bit. So floor three, I don't think I came here before. We're all virgins on this ride, baby. Either way, I'm pretty confident we're going to pass it. Move. See, this is. That's why Spirit Walk's good. When you're stuck in like situations like that, you can actually get through. I also like Illusory Boots as well. They're very good. You can just run through enemies at will. However, this guy doesn't look like he has much cooldown reduction. Usually I can Spirit Walk so much more often on my character. Alright, we're nearly there. Just need to kill either another pack of elites. There we go. That'll, that'll summon the Rift Guardian. And with the Helltooth set for the Witch Doctor, you Rift Guardians just like go down like nothing. Watch how quick we kill him, it's ridiculous. Even though everything's on cooldown at the moment. But those Gargantuans just dish out huge damage, huge. Boom! Rift complete. 457. I literally only ran through the rift once just to see where elite packs were. Um, for, the, for the last bit of that, I didn't actually know where I was going or where elites were or anything like that. But we still passed it. So if I can do it that easily, I'm sure you guys and girls can do it too. If you're having any dramas, if you're having any, if you're having any issues with it, just hit me up in the comments below. I'll definitely help you because I'm very familiar with the Witch Doctor. This was just like more of a, a fun little run for me. But if you're having some serious issues, let me know and I'll definitely help you out. And like I mentioned, I'm doing a Necromancer video right now. It's a build guide to the Inarius set. And that's coming at you real soon. So far, I'm ultra impressed. It's probably the best set that I've used so far. And I've only got one to go after the Inarius set. As always, feel free to subscribe. That way, you will not miss a thing.